divulgazione con telescopi a basso costo. Si può fare? Ne parliamo oggi con Samir Durde, comunicatore scientifico del Centro per l'Astronomia e l'Astrofisica di Pune, in India, che oggi al Cap di Tolosa 2024 ha portato il suo progetto di EATA. Samir, uh, what is the typical cost of one of your telescopes and uh, how much can, can you save by building one? Uh, so our cost of the telescope is majorly because of the lens which cannot be compromised. It has to be an achromatic lens uh, giving a good quality image. Uh, rest of the cost can be saved by using uh, local material which uh, comes out to be about, uh, the cost could be about 5,000 Indian rupees or which is close to let's say 50 euros. Mm -hmm. uh, depends on uh, the cost of the material at your own location. Okay. And uh, which type of uh, materials can you use and which not? So we need to keep the focal length of the telescopes uh, fixed and so it has to be some sturdy material. Uh, we are using pipes made out of PVC which are of the similar diameter of the lens uh, but this could easily be made out of uh, pieces of wood or uh, suppose you have bamboo available at your place, it could even be a bamboo stick like uh, uh, Galileo had used probably. So yeah, you can use uh, your imagination and any kind of material which is hard and uh, doesn't change the focal length. Okay, and with this type of material, are they durable? Uh, are they compared to the classical uh, telescopes that uh, we use uh, during our outreach? Uh, the, the rest of the telescope doesn't matter in this case because uh, the lens is the most important and the focal length has to be fixed uh, and the eyepiece has to be good. The material, as I said, is uh, plastic or PVC which is some of the hardest things which you are using in uh, plumbing. Uh, your uh, daily life uh, water flows through that, it's made for high pressure and so it's very durable. Uh, but uh, again, if you're making it out of wood, etc., it will be better to take care of uh, wood with paints and varnish, etc., so it lasts longer. How long, for example? Uh, these, uh, these are virtually indestructible. Uh, these materials like PVC are virtually indestructible unless you sit on them or step on them, but uh, I don't think that anybody is going to do that. So they are very sturdy, very long-lasting, and uh, especially people like teachers who are making them find it very easy to give it to students because they are very hard to break. The lens is the fragile part in this case. Uh, even if you break it, you can easily replace it with another cheap uh, material from uh, your local plumbing shop. Okay, and so far, uh, how many did you build and uh, in the future, uh, how many will you build? We have been having this program for about 30 years now and so let's say if we are building about 100, 200 every year, you can multiply by that number and so it's been a huge a lot of number and that has gone to many schools but uh, in the future we, we would love every child to have one yeah, and in, uh, when we are getting like Christmas gifts or something like that, instead of uh, a ready-made thing, we could make something ourselves and enjoy with it. I think so. Then every kid will have a telescope. Okay. So you have still funds for uh, for this type of, of project. So this project, uh, so funding is a very uh, complicated issue and uh, our uh, project is currently funded by our institute. Uh, what we are trying to do is to make it an open source kind of a procedure so anybody can just look at the process and make it at their own place if they have the lens available. So uh, my future dream is that most of the uh, places where telescopes are not there, they instead of focusing on buying, buying telescopes from outside, could focus on uh, encouraging local uh, skilled people to make these glass lenses. If they have that, rest of the material is already there in their country. Okay, Samir, thank you very much. Pleasure.